a piece of person who who has a small who needs this car to feel good about himself. Little mother. So you hit my car with that. Oh, I, I don't know, did I? You did. Huh? No, you did that on video. So what's gonna happen to him? Oh, he'll, he'll be placed under arrest. <laughs> Okay guys, we are now gonna run and grab a new windshield. We have, um, fortunately, Lamborghini has one in stock. We can run over and grab it. Dave's already made an appointment and we have uh, the windshield being installed at around two o'clock, I believe. You know what? When life hands you lemons, make lemonade. And Dave and I are really good at problem solving. And uh, at this point, the issue is we have a smashed windshield and we're gonna get it done and fixed by two o'clock today. Yeah, I'm here at two, cut it out. Ironically, Lamborghini actually had them in stock, which I was really surprised. As far as we know, there could be more hidden some damages, there could be a, a damaged dash, we don't know yet. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll find out here. All right, we gotta jump in the old, good old trusty Carrera Van GT. Thank you to Lamborghini Newport Beach. We got one of only two Lamborghini SVJ windshields in stock. By the way, that windshield is $4,864 right there. So you guys can see, and we are now paid and ready to go. And they have a special windshield carrier. So their guys are in a truck and they're gonna follow us back to our shop. Let's go. Windshield's in there, our van's over here. Thank you. You're the well, man, well. appreciate you. Try hard. If you guys Thank need you. service or parts, for your Lamborghini, your McLaren, your Bugatti, your Koenigsegg, come and see these guys. Back to the shop. Okay, DD fam, hold it right there. We need to thank today's sponsor, the toughest, most rugged cell phone case in the business, the only one I trust, the Rockform Rugged. We're gonna give you guys a link in description to give you a huge discount because Rockform's gonna protect that very, very precious thing that you carry around in your pocket, and I promise you, this is tougher than an SVJ windshield. You could almost, I don't suggest you do this, take a sledgehammer to it. This is the one I have it's like almost like a carbon fiber look it is not carbon fiber but it's a carbon fiber look this also exceeds military drop specifications there are plenty of attachments you can add right here it'll lock in there's a locking system it goes on all sorts of different things use the neodymium magnet down here and it'll actually stick to stuff that's not magnetic so it's not going to stick to that that's not magnetic either it will stick to something magnetic hey do you have anything magnetic in there see neodymium magnet power Bam, sticks. What am I doing? I don't do dishes. I'm watching a vlog. It's so powerful, open your fridge. Ugh. You're on Instagram, but never lose your key. Again, I dare you to do this with any other cell phone case. Look at this, my phone. Is it? Perfectly okay. Go click the link in description. Pick up your rugged rock form case today and protect that valuable asset. Get your rock form case. Just go to rockform.com forward slash DDE. Enter the code DDE2022 and get yourself 25% off. Yes, son of a bitch. All right, back to the video. We're back. Hey, so you're gonna do the install. Yeah. What's your name? Antonio. Antonio, my man. Dave, nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. I had the phone earlier. Oh, okay. okay. Do you have a company name for this that we yeah, can? Yeah, K-N-E. A-N-E. K-N-E. K-N-E. Kilo and Echo. Yes. Kilo and Echo. K-N-E Auto Glass. Auto Glass. Well, I'm gonna show you what happened here. We had a, a gentleman wanted to have a small run-in with a sledgehammer in the windshield. So we ended up with that. And he ended up in jail. Yeah, he actually, yeah, he ended up in jail. So we got a new windshield, thankfully. Okay. Lamborghini Newport Beach. Okay. We have the car. You can do this now. Okay. My man. All right, just moved the car out. We have the guys from Lamborghini Newport with the new windshield. We have Antonio from uh, K&E Auto Glass here to swap this out. This is really, really awesome that these guys, uh, you know, love us and we're able to get the boys in the van to bring over the new glass. We're gonna get this all done today. Okay, put it down, put it down, put it down. Yeah, no, give it back there. Yeah, give it back there. Clean a bunch of the glass out. It's all over the place. It's on the floor, it's on the dash. Get some protection down over that Alcantara dash. These guys are pros. They know what they're doing. Make. They got this dialed in. So you were saying it's not as much fun when it's this broken, eh? No, because a lot of it goes out, you know? Because yeah. as barely we're moving in, there's already glass coming out and everything. Yeah. And when we pull it out, 
it's gonna be a pain in the ass to take it out because this part's already pretty much gone, so. It's lost, it's like, um, <laughs> kind of like keep, it does not much keeping it together yeah there's not a lot of keeping it together so when it gets pulled out either it completely shatters or it just you know makes a big mess <laughs> yeah it's not fun to clean up either <laughs> it's not fun is it no not at all that's cool so yeah. that's the device yeah you put it under yeah and then you just pull it gentlemen have literally gone around this like three times just to get this loose, hey? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> three different length knives. So the next stage now you were just telling me is now you have to disconnect the rear view mirror. Yeah. And all the wires that are connected in the windscreen into the mirror. Yeah. Yeah. Got you. Okay. Okay. Hey, it's a Perta. Not quite. Watching these guys work, this is a lot of work, dude. We had a windshield taken out of one of our other Lamborghinis, the Huracan, which I was supposed to go get today from VF Engineering. Unfortunately, we've been here dealing with this. This has completely messed our whole day up. We had appointments with an adjuster for the McLaren 720, and anyhow, wiped our day out, super inconvenienced, but for the most part, this will all be back in within a few hours after this happening, which is great. But where I was going with this is we took another windshield out. The method technique that they used was this suction cup with this fine, like strong, almost like fishing line. And they fish it through the seal and then use a drill to essentially uh, wind it up and it goes around and cuts the perimeter. It's really cool. But you can't use that technology when the windshield's as damaged as this was. You can't do that. Oh. So they have to use a hand knife and rip along with a knife and they use a longer and a longer and longer knife. So they start with a, a thin knife and they go all the way around the windshield carefully, then bigger knife, and then even bigger knife to get all the way in. And then finally they were able to uh, extract the old bad windshield. And now they're cutting all the excessive glue off, all that sort of stuff. And the wires, and he's got to redo the, the, the rear view uh, mirror here. Cause it's got all the wires, right? So this windshield with this has sensors in it for like the windshield wipers, um, yada, 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 all Antenna, that stuff. I think Antenna. They have, they have the, uh, the GPS, I think. Yeah, GPS has a whole bunch of functions yeah. that are all in this sensor that's in this rear view mirror here. So uh, the boys are just working to, again, remove excess glue so they can create a good seal for the new windshield. Yeah. Showtime? Yeah, showtime. Okay, so what is this? this don't is say it, glue. don't say it, don't say it. The glue. It's <laughs> cock. <The> cock. <laughs> Not gonna lie, he's got a steady hand. Guys, done and done. Wait, he's even got the glass cleaner out. Yeah. That stuff smells good. It does. It does smell good. Yeah. All right, huge shout out to these boys. So it is K and E Auto Glass. You guys are the best. Last piece of the SVJ. You guys need some glass repair done? Call these gentlemen. They are the pros. Look at this. Oh, okay. So I noticed he souvenir. Do we want to just put this up there for now? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Why not, right? Dave, I need your help. Can you climb that? I'm gonna hand this to you. How the f are we gonna lift that? Yeah. Suction cups. You got that? Yep. Yeah. Let go. Get away from it. Get away from it. Hold on. I think I'll help you. Grab the other suction cup. Hold on. And then I'm thinking just. Put it right here. I'm using lots of my hand. Put it right here with the daily driven on the top side. 
And you could probably put that lip right in here against the wall. Actually, yeah, yeah. We'll cut that part up. All right guys, update today on the 720S. As you already know by now, the car was involved in an accident. If you haven't seen the video, pause this one right now, click the link below in the description. In today's video, the insurance adjuster is gonna be here in a few minutes to actually go over the car and figure out what the plan is. Now, oh, this is a Canadian car, Canadian insurance, but because it happened in California, it won't be our insurance company handling the actual assessment. What's gonna happen is the US insurance company has been delegated to come today and look at the car. And my understanding is that it's gonna go over to figure out the cost of damage potentially, what parts have to be replaced, can they fix the car or not, and that's the ultimate big question that I really hope you resolve in today's video. Can this car be repaired or not? It's complicated because when you look at it, you go, oh, it's not too bad. You know, I'll just replace that and that and that. The actual frame, if you come close and look. That frame right over there? That's aluminum. When aluminum bends, you can't see it. When you bend steel or other materials and alloys, you'll see a stress mark, which changes color. Aluminum will change shape and you won't know. The only way to find out from my understanding is McLaren certified repair facilities have a rack. I've seen one before actually. And it's a rack that has all these special little dowels on it, things like that. And you set the car on it and it has to line up perfectly. If it doesn't, the frame's bent. The entire midsection of this car is carbon fiber. This is a monocoque and it's all carbon. So basically the entire car is built around that cell and this is what protects you. What's really cool is the way it's designed is the car blows apart into pieces, but it always maintains the integrity of the middle section, which is what basically protects you as the driver. And we've seen these cars in really bad accidents. Probably four years ago, our friend went off the road at the high speed, flipped over a bunch of times, and the cell is actually pretty much okay. There was some caving in the roof, but considering what had happened, if it was like that cop car, it'd be a very different story. However, carbon fiber is strong, but it's also brittle. There could be things we can't see right now. I don't know if the gentleman today can look at and tell me if this carbon cell is okay. Or they might say, you know what, just based on what we know about these cars, it's a total loss. Because for the insurance company, they also have the liability of making sure their car's safe. And if they miss a crack and all of a sudden there's an incident later, there's liability on them. So many questions that I'm just speculating right now. I don't honestly know what's gonna happen next. My gut tells me looking at it, we can fix this car. Hey, sir. I'm Dave, nice to meet you. There's a 720. And there's the damage. So who does the repair? You guy? No. Who does? You know, yeah. We just bought the car here because they said, where do you want to put it for now until you figure out what's happening? I said, well, we've got a storage area, so it's safe here. So are you here today to look at like the damage or make an yes. assessment? Yes. So I guess the question is like, oh, we can see the damage, but as far as like the, the frame and the carbon monocoque is our concern, so do you guys have a list of accredited uh, repair facilities for McLaren? You had no. I don't think so. And you can see the wings actually split much if you notice that uh, from the impact. Yeah. The best uh, <clears throat> to write an estimate is uh, to remove the wheel and that's why you have to choose a body shop because the best way to handle it is to remove the wheel and see all the internal parts. I can be able to write an estimate. So you're here today to actually write a repair estimate. That's your job today? Yeah. But how would you be able to tell if the frame's bent or not? That's what I'm saying. The best, with this type of damage, the best way is to have a body shop of your choice that can be able to move the wheel and remove all the stuff here so they, we can be able to determine the extent of the damages. I can write something, but... So how, like, do you know, based on your visual estimation, like the rear diffuser and all the parts, like, do, you, do, do they make the parts list or is that what you do? Yeah, the parts part is from the dealer. Got it. And a lot of these parts on this car didn't come from this car. Like that wing's aftermarket, obviously the wheels are aftermarket. The right. paint is all custom. How does that work? Did that repaint the whole car? No. All depends on your, the policy you have. Well, it's our policy, it's full coverage, but we're not liable because we were hit. So it's their fault, we have it all on camera. The police already designated the fact that the person who hit us, they're the ones that are responsible for all this. But does that still go through our broker then? But they have their own, they have uh, enough money to cover this? That's another issue, policy limit. What, what do you mean? So they would not, you have insurance, but there's limits? Yeah, they like uh, $25,000 policy limit, that's all they're gonna pay. So then whose insurance would cover the difference? Our insurance would? Even though they're at fault? Mm -hmm. So and is there not a minimum required insurance to be on the road in California? 10,000. 10,000, that's it? That's it. Yeah, based on what you're seeing right now, you think this car is destroyed or can be fixed? The car can be fixed. The thing is that it has to be fixed right. You're right to find a shop yeah. who does it right. Yeah, that's what you figure out. 
There's a McLaren basically jig that you put the car on, make sure the frame is exactly. like You have to have jigs. Yeah. There's no other way to fit this car properly. Because looking at aluminum frame, you can't tell if exactly. it's bent or not. It doesn't show. Exactly. Thank you, sir. Drive safe. Everyone. I didn't really get anywhere in this as far as like what the next step is. His opinion was the car's repairable. Now I gotta find a shop that has the jig for the frame. This is where you wanna be really diligent with dealing with insurance companies to go, do we have the right coverage? We have the right coverage, but the person who hit us might not have the coverage. So in that case, what'll happen, and actually this happened with my guard, my 06 guard with the gated one, where I got hit by the lady, it was her fault. Unfortunately, she didn't have enough insurance. So while it wasn't my fault, my insurance company had to pay me out for the car and then sue her to get the money out of it. My takeaway for you guys in this video is do not be underinsured. The insurance company isn't gonna let it go. They're gonna sue you. So if you own a home or a business or whatever assets you have and you're driving around and you're not insured for third party liability and when you hit a car like that, protect yourself. Do not be underinsured. It is not worth it. And I really hope the driver hit us had the proper insurance because it gets from there on out. That's it, that's the update on the 720. Now I need to find a repair facility and start from there. Thanks for watching this episode. Smash the subscribe button and let's get the 720 back on the road again.